There's an entirely different energy field that's arriving in June than there has been in these previous two months, and it's a wonderful one. My name is Prune Harris, I'm an energy expert. I've been able to see energy since I was born and worked in clinical practice for 20 years, helping people understand their own human energy field and also the energy fields around them so that you can really know how to align and be in your best health no matter what's going on in your daily life. So June's energy forecast, I've written a lot about it and written a blog about it that's on my website, pruneharris.com. You can go and read much more about it there. But what I wanna give you here in this video is simple, powerful ways that you can align your energy field. Because this month of June, it's really inviting you to let go of old habits. And of course, for most of us, that tends to be an ongoing journey and an ongoing experience of gradually releasing more and more of the limiting habits and the limiting patterns that can so hold you back. Even once you've identified them, they can be stuck in your energy field and really held in. So you find yourself repeating the same ways of being again and again and again. Well, the great news is that the amazing fuchsia pink vibration of this month really encourages, invites, even drives your human energy field to be releasing those patterns. The other thing that this month is beautiful for is connecting. It's a month of freedom, of being able to really be in that heart connection. So finding people, connecting into people, like-minded people that inspire your heart, that inspire your soul, that's the energy of this month too. In a challenging way, it may impact your nervous system. There's just a lot of movement. And any time we work to really clear old habits, old patterns, take that real consciousness work into our way of being, it can get a little edgy, a little jarring. So this routine is to really help settle your ability to ground your nervous system, some more pineal gland work. We've been doing that for these last two months as well, but just continuing to support that because that pineal gland will be managing a lot with how you can respond this month. So let's do it. First of all, let's just place your hands on your thighs or across your heart, whichever one feels best to you. Just want to take a moment, close your eyes if you're comfortable to, but take a moment to Get curious about how you're feeling today, how your body is today. Is there any tension? Maybe just stretch your fingers and your toes, roll your shoulders, <sighs> and let your breath out, consciously inviting tension, stress to leave your system. Now we're going to start by placing the fingers of one hand on the third eye area. Yeah, so that area between the bridge of your nose and the midline of your forehead. And with the other fingers, you're going to place them just right at the top of the vertebrae of the neck and onto the base of the skull. So very, very gentle, no pressure here. They can, your fingers can be flat if that feels good, or they can be more curved. For me right now, having them slightly more curved is the kind of pressure and touch that my energy system and my energy body want. So you might find that as the month of June progresses, this gets different and some days you're flat and some days you're curved. Let's take three breaths here. This exercise encourages the calming and connecting of the master glands in your head. And also invites that movement of cerebral spinal fluid down the spinal column, grounding you, calming any 
electric excess or static in your system, encouraging the nervous system to relax. Now you're going to take whichever hand feels good and you're going to position the palm just in front of that third eye area and it may feel great if you come really close to the forehead. It may be that you want to be further away. It really depends on what's going on in that third eye energy and where it feels good. That's all you're going by. And if you're not sure, you can move your hand out and back towards the body a few times and just tune in. Where does it feel the most supportive? Once you've found that spot, you're going to start spiraling your hands in one direction and it doesn't matter which direction, we're going to be going in both. So you're just going to start spiraling your hands, maybe the width of your eyes, that sort of size. The speed is going to be exactly what you need today. Don't overthink any of this, just allow your body to begin to work with your energy. You might find that it's a speed that changes or a constant speed. Begin to spiral smaller spirals in towards that point right above the bridge of your nose and out to the edge of your eyes and even the size of your face. Continuing in the same direction as you spiral right back down into the center and all the way out to the width of your ears. And make it playful. You can change your hands if one arm gets tired. You're inviting space here. You're clearing the intensity that can really happen in this third eye area. You're inviting more balancing and healing light into the pineal gland. All right, now pay attention to which direction your hand is moving and you're simply going to reverse that. So I was going clockwise and now I'm going anti-clockwise, but whatever direction you were going, flip it and simply keep moving into the center and back out again. And remember at any point you can change hands. For some of you that would have been a really easy switch over, the changing of directions. And for some of you it would be really challenging, so don't worry. Just work with whatever's showing up. If at any point you feel dizzy, then slow your hands right down, even stop and take a few breaths. You can always come back to that exercise that we did at the first where we hooked up the space at the base of the skull with this third eye area. All right, so a few more circles here. And just relax. Relax both arms. Take a moment to tune into, feel into, think into that space in front of your eyes, around your head, your forehead. It's a space that energetically can get very, very congested. And the work that you just did has cleared and opened a lot of that congestion. All right. So fingers back into that third eye area. And with your other fingers, you're gonna stay in the midline, but you're gonna to go to the pubic bone and just place the fingers just above the pubic bone. Maybe here, it feels good to gently press in and gently lift up those hands. And maybe it doesn't. So again, your body, your experiencing. In these videos, I suggest some options and then just tune in to what feels good to you today. And a powerful way to balance the bladder energy in the body and the bladder meridian organ system in 
Traditional Chinese understandings governs your nervous system. So this is a great exercise just in itself for calming, stabilizing, grounding the nervous system. Now leave the fingers on the midline just above the pubic bone and place the other fingers on that power point at the base of the neck and the top of the spine. Always nice here to just allow the chin to drop a little towards the chest so that you bring a stretch into that area behind the base of the skull. So much sitting down, so much tension can really create congestion under that occipital ridge at the base of the skull. And keeping that hand on that power point at the base of the skull with your other hand, you're simply going to point all of your fingers towards the ground. Find a way to relax your shoulders, to just point your fingers towards the ground and consciously think about the energy of your fingers going down, releasing any tension, releasing old patterns through all of your fingers very powerful meridian points in your fingers, very powerful electrical points in your fingers. So that energy of release, of connection deep into the ground beneath your feet. And switching hands so that the other one is back in the power point. Two of your most electrical fingers are your middle finger and your little finger. So as you're doing this, you can even really visualize, think, feel energy pouring out of those two fingers, releasing all of the... So often when the electrical system is trying to balance the release of old patterns, trying to calm the nervous system, then actually can get really almost like lots of static everywhere in your energy. It looks like the black and white screens on the old TVs. And when you do this exercise, it's a beautiful way to align the spine and bring the energy down from whizzing around the brain all through the body system and house it in a grounded way. One more full breath here. And finishing with both hands on the heart. Okay. Hope that feels good to you. It's quite a strong way of working to really calm and ground your nervous system so that you have the space to be more connective and much more you. Bye-bye. Thanks so much for joining me.